Well, everyone, it is here. Ascension. Whole box. Well, let's see what the new expansion has for us. I really haven't spent a whole lot of time following what the uh, speculation was or any spoilers for this, so that's why I'm excited about Ascension. One of the things that has been had a lot of talk, though, between the different playgroups, though, that I'm with is uh, something that would throw really throw off uh, decks using uh, Bait and Switch. There seems to really be a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of the meta for this game really seems to focus around, like, you have to have a deck with that to steal that final key, because a lot of games do grind out. Um, but... Yeah, let's see what we get. <laughs> Curious to see who this is, if it's one of the characters, like a legendary, or if it's just a common, uh, certainly looks like somebody out of, uh, Shadows. And this has got to be Sanctum, that just seems to go without question. That's definitely a night. First one. What do we got here? We have this. Ooh, this one's got King of the Crag. One, two. That's a six rare deck. Hub, I finished with you, school. Interesting. Get the knife here. <clears throat> see what we got. Pardon the family guy playing in the background. Being a middle of the night, I can't uh, stay awake for everything. That's a new one. Or that's the transposition sounds. Swap this creature with another friendly creature on the bow line. You may use that other creature this turn. Hey, another move it action and then you can reap. You probably discard to each archived cards. One for each card discarded this way. Can't hide stuff in the archive. Nice. And that's a play action too. Chaos Portal. I pulled one of these the other day out of the regular, out of the first edition of the game. Not a bad thing. Stick. Uh, mode access. Jungle. Play. Put a card from your hand face down under. Oh, we're getting the face down stuff. <clears throat> if it's your turn, play the card under jungle. Otherwise, archive that card. So we're getting into different. So actually. We're putting stuff in different locations now, so if that was the battlefield, stuff underneath. I'm not aware of any other cards that put things in this location. So, moving the geography of the game around. Nice. Though, one could say they're finally they're using the zones that Magic the Gathering already uses. Uh, Brain Eater, we know what that does. Titan Librarian, end of turn of Titan Librarian. Is on a flank, archive a card. Press a stroke in. Draw a card for each friendly creature. Oh, so this one. Oh, what do we got here? Do one damage to an enemy creature. If this damage destroys that creature, draw a card. Sounds like something. This would do. After enemy creature reaps, stun it. Stag effect too. Look at the top of their cards are deck into your hand. Right hot armor, we've seen that one. Onyx Knight destroy each creature with odd power. Tenaculus. Let's go ahead and sacrifice a friendly creature. Got when you play it. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else this deck had to choose in this card. Our card from our hand. 
seven power. I was thinking there might be something in here that dies. And you have the one logos card that if it dies, you get something back. <clears throat> one of the smaller tricks. Oh, this guy. When Shrek is on a flank, your opponent refills their hand to one less card during the draw step. Basically a, uh, well, it's got to be in the middle of the lineup, but it's a, uh, not Tosin. You know, the demon, what's her name, reduce your opponent's hand. I'm not finished with you, uh, shuffling a number of creatures from your discard pile in your deck. <clears throat> It's almost like bring back, uh, yeah, yeah the, you know, the disc card that brings it all back, but, but you can pick, huh? Oh, that's not, yeah, okay, injury attack. Like I said, it's past midnight, so I'm not thinking of this. It's on a flank, it's plus five power against taunt. Oh, so put this guy in the middle of the line, big, turns into a taunt for a diss. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'm surprised that's a common. Choose a creature in your discard pile, you may play that creature as if it belonged to the active house and was in your hand. Not bad. Destroy the least powerful creature, call the weak. Yeah, that's the opposite of, uh... Dance of Doom. King of the Crag, a little bit good. War Chest. Firewick Shaman. Shock Summon when you play it. Ah, uh, into the fray. End of the turn. Each friendly Brummer creature gets tapped. Ray the street. Fight. Oh, so you can fight and then ray the creature and then fight again. <laughs> Couple gauntlets of command, not bad. Once you go into the other houses. And the creature has been destroyed this turn, game one, Foozle. Seems like that builds off of, like, Crump's, you know, oh, Crump and other cards that hit, you know, hit the gold on one level or another. Cow Flynn, two damage to each neighbor. Rambo, another two damage to enemy flank creature when you play it. Oh, bang. No much to a stun enemy creature. The creature's already stunned, destroyed instead. Uh, however, I don't feel like I have a whole lot of stuff in here that's stunning already. Huh. That's a lot to think through when we have a whole box. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. We have got... Ligua Mimic, oh, Double Mimicry in this one. What else we got? Mm, Harlan Mindlock, that's one. Uh, that's a new Sanctum one. Aura, Shield of Justice. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff we've kind of already seen before, but let's jump to another one. For what we got here, I am sort of picking these up out by based on their uh, rare content. Uh, Ring of Invisibility, Save the Pack, Camouflage. I wish I was doing this a lot. Curious what these are. Okay. The new multiples out of Shadows are interesting. Every I'm hoping they build off of a uh, routine job. That's why I'm curious about these. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, we've seen this one before. Straight elusive creature. Ooh, Niffle Grounds. Vacation, choose a creature. Minus turn, the creature loses taunt and elusive. Niffle Grounds. Oh, so it doesn't really have much to do with the Niffle. Seed, we've had that before. Camouflage creature, not a flank, cannot fight the creature's not a flank. 
Ooh, that's not bad. That's a new elusive. Protect your guys in the middle. I mean, at least protects them from attack, even more so than elusive would do. Song of Spring. Shuffle any number of friendly, untamed creatures from your hand. Discard pile or battle line back into your deck. Uh... Huh, that has me thinking what the strategy is for this deck. Probably have to look to the other houses here. Oh, here's a new ability, Omega. After you play this card, end this step. Uh, creatures are in play, ready. Wow, Dusk Witch. And that's a common. <clears throat> Let's see what we're getting. Perplexing... If you have more than your opponent, they discard a random card from their hand, and you draw a card. Alright, not bad. Some dis more discard power. Night Forge. If you've not forged a key this turn, you may forge a key at 4 plus current cost. Mm, not sure how I feel about that. That, that. I mean, okay, it gives you one nice, but... 4 plus, I mean, you're basically paying 10 for a key. I mean, if you can pull it off, that's not a bad steal. Wrist starts, wind deal, damage, and each enemy creature. Nice. Throwing stars deals one damage to up to three creatures. Gain one for each creature destroyed this way. Not bad against Mars. Alpha, uh, you can only play this card before doing anything else this step. After you play this card. Oh, just plain out steal three. Nice. Steal one. If you're playing seven or more, instead, steal two instead. Nice. Knock people off their keys. A little bit of a different way to do it. Oh, yeah, it's a creature. Nice. Suddenly, we're seeing... I'm starting to get the bigger idea here. For... Sure, play ready. Ah, uh, so I'm spring. Shuffle any number of friendly, untamed... Nope. Has to be untamed creatures. Shuffle any number. Of you know what? I'm already seeing the problem with this deck. One creature. Oh, two. Only three uh, untamed creatures. Yeah, untamed is not. Yeah, that already is costing this deck. Let's see what this new build. Oh, and the artwork. Hey, there we go. From the back of the box. Now we know what this is. Lamedra. Let's see. So deploy. This creature enters the battlefield anywhere in your battle. Oh, nice. So you can move people around. We really are getting into that. I noticed that. Because there's only, uh, I think it's a uh, Savior Knight or something at a Sanctum that can move, move things around. <clears throat> or at least it was the most thing that moved your battle line around. Deploy, elusive. Neighbors gain elusive. Not bad. I heard card of a card. You may purge a card and stun. Zorg, always good, but uh, gotta get them unstunned first. That's the other thing I'm noticing here, too. A lot of these cards are out of order. Like, it seemed like with the older decks. You had, uh, you could kind of reliably count on your creatures sort of being like spells, and then you'd have creatures maybe, and then enchantments down here. I'm noticing that things are a lot more mixed up here, though. So, creature, these aren't really enchantments or artifacts, these be like at the back of the uh, stack. Let's see what we got here. Red Planet Ray Gun, we've done that. Exterminate, exterminate for each friendly Mars creature you control. Destroy a non-Mars creature with lower power. Nice. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm curious, uh, lower power, lower Mars. Works if you got the Zorg, but... Well, we'll have to play around and see what happens. Have to earn your creature reap stun. Right. Not bad, that really steals... Plus, you can put it next to that thief and give him elusive. There's probably going to be a lot of... There's probably going to be a lot of decks with creatures that benefit from being next to Lemaidra. 
And you definitely want that deployability to give them a <clears throat> elusive next to her. Um, I mean, Zorg with elusive sounds pretty good already. But I'm not so fond of this deck right off the bat here. I'm sure there's going to be another deck with similar Mars and Shadow lineup, though. Um, what is this? Two play here's a playability. Two damage to a creature and move it to either flank its control of its controller's belt. Maybe more stuff that's moving stuff around and keeping it out of your Oh, and that gets you out away from taunt, like away from champion NFL. Uh return set. Huh. Interesting. Card that so play it re return to your hand. Finally, something that combos with uh, with Dusk Witch. Creatures in play ready. Return scale. Oh, that's abusive. Am I reading this right? I can just play in it. Step. Your creatures enter play ready. Sky Booster Squadron, return, reap, return. Wow. That's infinite gold, I would argue. If you have those two cards right there. Wow. Dusk Witch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's infinite gold. Oh, uh, let's see. The creature in mind for a fight. Fight deals power to each of its neighbors. Nah, we fight this way. Oh, crap. That's nasty. So you charge this thing into somebody and cover its fighting. So if it's fighting Champion NFL or Pit Lord and you're protecting something with that, that thing will kill each of them. Wow. This thing force that breaks the lineup. Uh, you know, mind what it does. Pixel profile is on it. Archives of Mar card, Mars card. Not bad, not bad. Then you can see in the artwork, he's in the uh, birthing chamber from the old card birthing chamber. <laughs> cool. That's an interesting deck. Infinite mana with just that one combo. Well, it's still recording. Cool. Let's keep going. Let's see if I can skip another one. Well, I don't really want to skip one. I want good decks, but like I said, I can't really go through all of them. <clears throat> Let's see what we got with this one. Uh, this one's pretty low. Snow Snatcher. Ozemo Marcinology. Curiosity. Curiosity. They're everywhere. Let's see what those are. Probably not going to go too deep in this one, but. Let's see what we got here. Destroy each scientist creature. Wow. Uh, that kills Mars cards. Uh, let's see what the other one what was. We want. They're everywhere. Two damage to each enemy. Each creature not on flank. Shooting stuff all over the place. I kind of already know what most of this is. We've seen this before. Poke. More logos. Each player gains old equal. Oh, that's interesting. Binary rupture. Uh, so each player gains. That's right. Equal to. Oh, in their pool. That's almost like it doubles if I'm reading that right. So Snapchat. Each damage, which, oh, so that could cost a whole extra six. Nice. <clears throat> Just curve from your hand. Hmm. Not sure why you want to discard. Choose a house your point Can't choose that house. Sorry. Wow, you reap with this thing and just control your two of them? That would just shut your opponent out. Not finished with really you, sure. 
grub. There's some cool stuff in here. Don't just put three chains on your opponent. Wow. After a creature, creature creep. That hits everything. Wow. <coughs> Another deck I'll have to think about. Some more new stuff, though. Let's keep it rolling. What have we got here? Shard of Life, Inkra the Spider. Wargrow. Oh, four rares. Chaos Port. Wait, one, two, three, four. Eight? Huh. Oh. Twenty minutes. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, ten minutes left of the video. Let's see what else we got here. Shard of Light. Shuffle your card from your discard pile into. Nice. Okay, Spider, that's an old one. Mimicry, always love that one. Choose a house. Exhaust each enemy creature. Choose a house. Nice. Swarm, it's one for each in your pool. Nice. Key charge, alright. Full moon. It's time to play a creature. How heavy is the creatures in this, though? One, two... Three. Uh, it's low. Uh, here's another one. Shard and I'll just draw a card for each friendly shard. Shard? Oh, item shard. Okay. Oh, I have a shard here. Okay, this is a new. Now I see what's going on here. Uh, portal. Not bad. Sloppy lab work. After you choose logos, is your house archive a card? Memory chip, it's an item. <clears throat> Interdimensional graph, we know the power of that one. Forge a key, you give me a key. Random from your hand, Eureka. Alpha. Archive the top card of your deck. Discard pile. Tight mechanic. Poke, we're done with that one. Lab work. Alien. Okay, here's the rare I'm curious about. Ready and fight with a neighboring giant. Beast fight. What's the significance of that? War Grumpus? Shard strength. Okay, so we got three shards in this deck. Wholesome power for each friendly shard. Grumpus Tamer. Search your deck and discard power for War Grumpus. Reveal it. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Ready and fight with a neighboring giant. So war grumpuses are controlled by a grumpus tamer. Deck and just... Hmm. Basically like a bear flute. But you gotta reap. Gain two if you control more creatures than your opponent's smith. Not bad for a uh, problem. Are they been needing something like that? Your opponent's keys cost one more for each friendly creature power five or higher. Which that one giant finds that stuff and puts it up there. And if you've got the shard and other stuff to make them more powerful. Your keys uh, cost plus one for each enemy creature. Oh, so it works both ways. Vehicle, though. I don't know if that means anything. Call for the quiet. No, just a giant elusive. Giant... To fight. Okay. Call that command. Got a chieftain. Hmm. You have five damage. Bang, bang fights. Yeah, this blows things out uh, left and right of the target that you're attacking. Not sure about that one. The shards are interesting though. Three of them. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in this one. Exterminate, exterminate, key abduction. 
ownership support. I don't know. Seen a lot of stuff we've already sort of seen. Yahtzee gang shadows times three. I'll have to look that one up later. Let's see here. Time mechanics, librarian. A lot of commons, Song of Spring, Persistence Hunting, Knowledge is Power, Alright, the Damned, feels like a lot of stuff we've kind of seen before, Shrek, uh, let's go another one, <clears throat> Patient chamber. Looks like we only got rares that are. Oh wait, we do have this. Let's open that. And see what we got. I've been looking for a deck out like that. I've been curious if there's like a new four horsemen or something, but closest thing was that last deck I probably showed you where you get. Well, actually, I guess the bear flute deck. I was thinking it was like the bear flute deck. So you always get the flute with the bear, but you don't. So I can't really say that those. Those, what was in the other deck? Those Grumpus fetchers are gonna actually uh, <clears throat> always come together. So let's see what. Let's skip to that part. Gain control of it. Wow. It's a cool action. Interesting. More beat Martian beasts. Harvester. In one. Squadron. Fear. Here's the one. Silver key imp. Players cannot forge their second key. No, oh, he's gonna get killed real fast. Interesting. Each creature unlocked gateway. Omega. Grump. Exhum, exhum, banish, put. Some more grumps. A little tense creature gets plus five power. Nice. Point loses one. Grog? Grog. Okay, some more Brabnar with make you lose one. Chieftain, Fossil. Cool. Got to be on the lookout for a silver key imp. See if we see any more of those. In the last stretch here. Alright, this one's just weird to me. Quicksilver Plague Master times two. Hmm. Maybe that is something, maybe it isn't. Take a look at that one later. I'm already kind of put off by Quicksilver Plague Master. He's not that good, in my knowledge. <clears throat> Only affects humans. What do we got here? A little bit low on the rares. For video's sake, though, just like I've said before, it makes sense to sort of stick to the ones. This portal. Not too bad for that one. Let's see what we got in this one. I can already tell. Yeah, this one I already tell. We've seen it before, but I'll look at them over and assess the strength later. Alright, last one. Let's hope we get, like, some sort of new, uh, version of, uh, probably won't be, it's probably going to be dud. I'm hoping 
I get something with like a new version of a uh, new equivalent of the Four Horsemen, but probably a dud. Yeah. He did this. Tolus. Him not command. Extinction. Zorb. No, it's the last one. It's up. We still got video time left. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, got to stretch my legs out. The harder they come. See, I like Gatekeeper. Basically a drama, but captures doorstep to heaven. Ain't no drama, but keeps the game from being uh, crazy. After you discard a Sanctum card, your hand, Baron, again, it captures one. Interesting. So I can just basically fill my hand up and throw away the Sanctum cards. Yeah, turn. Not bad. Human Knight. Deploy. You may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. And you can put anyone in the lineup. Nice. That gives you more accessibility to your smite deal. Fight a creature. Burn a creature. Deal two damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. Not bad. Oh, here we go. The guy on the front of the boxes. Who we got? Sir Miles. Figured he was probably a common. Uh, after your opponent gains one, give me Sir Morrow's cat. Wow, that's an ether spider for Sanctum. The marked its damage is armor. Capture one for each damage prevented. Nice. Choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. The chosen creature can't be dealt damage. It's shield. Deploy, taunt. Not bad. A little weak on the arm. Well, it's, yeah, it's not the strongest compared to a champion NFL, but you do have to deploy. Oh, no, I'm just, but I'm not really sure if it really matters to deploy with a guy like this. We've already seen lots of cards that say before the fight, deal damage to things left or right of the taunt creature. So It's a taunt, though. I just I feel like with a lot of these decks we've seen already tonight, that's kind of... It's not the protection it uh, we've been led to think it is. Other friendly creatures get plus one armor. For the minute. Hey, this is not bad. Him and the Grey Monk kind of boost uh, the effects of this guy. Prevents after the mark prevents damage with its armor. So more armor for him to steal stuff or capture. Excuse me. I keep returning. Capture one from your own side. Nice. Extinction. Choose a creature. Destroy that creature. And each creature shares a trait with it. So basically blow out all the Niffle creatures or all the Martian creatures. Not that you do that. That This is a Martian card. Unchain. Zorg. Zookeeper. Definitely worth protect. Pheromones. I always like pheromones. Tap your opponent. I mean use your stu uh, Mars creatures during your... Other houses. <clears throat> uh, I always like this one though. One of the toughest tanks around. Drone. Mars needs amber. Each how much enemy no. Captures one from their own side. Wow. It's an action times two. I was curious what a double of this would look like. Choose a friendly non Mars creature and enemy none. Wow, that's a stun on a stick. Tolus destroy its opponent gains one. Sacrifice key to this destroy each creature. Fates not finished with you. Grub dust in. Okay, some stuff that benefits from being destroyed. Just chain your opponent up. Put a creature into your opponent's archives. After wow times three interesting not sure I see the full strategy of this deck yet but 
That is Ascension. All ten. All right, guys. Thanks for opening that with me, and it has been fun. I gotta go look over all that stuff and 